Want to know which AI model is best for your project? Today, I'll show you two powerful ways to evaluate LLMs using Postman. Hey everyone, Sterling here. So you've heard about GPT, Claude, Gemini, and a host of other AI models, but which one really fits your project needs? That's exactly what we're tackling today. We're going hands-on with Postman to show you two solid methods for comparing multiple AI models side by side. First, I'll demo how to evaluate using the collection runner so you can benchmark performance, content length, and token usage all at once. Then we'll switch gears and use Postman Flows, an interactive approach that compares responses in real time. Whether you're a developer looking for raw data or someone who wants an instant snapshot of which model wins, we've got you covered. Let's jump in. Let's start with our first method using the collection runner. I've got a Postman collection here pre-configured to test multiple AI models, some direct, like Grok and OpenAI, and some through AWS Bedrock, like Amazon and Anthropic. Our goal is to run multiple scenarios, compare each model's performance, and visualize the test results in one place. Here is the JSON file that defines our test scenarios. For example, we've got a small model scenario where I want the shortest possible answer, and a large model scenario where I allow for a more verbose response. Each scenario details which models to run, so we can skip the rest, and benchmarks like maximum content length and token usage. Now let's run these scenarios in Postman. In the collection runner, I'll import the JSON file that we just saw and hit run. And immediately we start to see the models being tested as we listed them. For each test that does run, we see either a pass or fail based on the benchmarks we set. Green means we sit under the threshold, for instance, token usage below 2000, and red indicates a fail. Maybe a model took too long or used too many tokens. Now let's look at how the models performed. We've got six passing. These all look pretty good. And it looks like no failed. Great. Let's take a closer look at our results. If we go to the results post and hit send, we get a nice response back from the API. And we can export all of this for our usage later. However, the magic happens when we go to the visualization. Here you can see the small models and the large models in a beautiful dashboard. In the dashboard here, you can see the total tokens, prompt tokens, completion tokens, response time, content length, and tokens per second. And you can see the performance of each one of the models, the best being in green and the worst being in red. And lastly, you can see the content, which are the responses from the LLMs themselves. And you can see this for both the small models and the large models. This provides an at-a-glance summary of which model is delivering the best results or has the best overall performance. If you want more advanced analysis, you can export everything to CSV. Instead of pressing send, choose send and download. That file will contain all of your metrics, including the prompt, temperature, and the raw responses. Because it's a big data set, you can drop it into your favorite spreadsheet or tool for deeper comparisons. Now for our second method, using Postman Flows. In this section, I'll walk you through the flow we created to evaluate LLMs and then run it with different scenarios to show you how it works in real time. Here's the evaluation flow. Let's take a quick tour of the components. We begin with a start block and it has three inputs. System prompt. This defines the overall instruction for the AI models, such as act as a helpful assistant. User prompt. This is the user's actual question or request that we want to test across different models. Lastly, evaluator instruction. These are the guidelines for how we want to compare the responses. For instance, we might specify which criteria to focus on, like correctness, creativity, or brevity. Next, there are the three task modules. Each wired to the start block inputs. We have the ChatGPT 4.0 block, the Claude 3.5 Sonnet block, and the Gemini 1.5 block. Each block receives the same prompts so we can compare them under identical conditions. Now the fun happens in the Create with AI block. It collects the raw responses from each AI block, the prompts and evaluation instructions, a specialized task that says compare the AI responses and pick the best one based on our evaluator instructions. So effectively, our Create with AI block acts as our judge, looking at each model's output and ranking them. 
Once the create with AI block produces its findings, the results flow into a display block so we can see them right away on the canvas. And then, finally, it goes to an output block, which outputs the final evaluation, the original system and user prompts, and the best LLM. Now let's put this flow to the test. I've prepared a few scenarios that vary the system prompt, user prompt, and evaluator instructions. Scenario 1, the marketing agent. Here we'll have the various LLMs provide five different ideas for a smart health and safety pet collar. AI will evaluate the responses and provide the single best idea. Scenario 2, the API developer. In this scenario, we're tasking the LLM to provide comparisons in various API protocols and the AI will evaluate and respond with the most thorough response. By running these, we can see how each model performs under different conditions. You'll notice the Create with AI Blocks evaluation changes to reflect each model's strengths or weaknesses. Let's run Scenario 1. As we run this scenario, the flow gives us immediate feedback. You can see which model gave the most suitable answer and why it was chosen based on the evaluator instructions. Let's run Scenario 2. The best part about this process is that it's repeatable. Simply tweak the system prompt, user prompt, or evaluated instructions, and hit Run Flow again. And there you have it, two methods for evaluating AI models in Postman. So which method should you use? The Collection Runner is perfect for large-scale testing. Flows is better for interactive evaluation and immediate feedback. Both give you powerful insights into how different AI models handle your specific use cases. Whether you're building an AI agent or just trying to pick the right model for your project, these tools will help you make data-driven decisions. And in our next video, we'll showcase how we built a multi-stage AI agent. The Collection Runner and LLM eval flow are available in our public workspace. Dive in and start adapting them to your use cases. Make sure to watch our public workspace and stay updated on all things AI on Postman. We're constantly adding new examples and patterns that you can use in your own development. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more API and AI content. Thanks for watching.